Welcome back to Sussex Farms for episode 16 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Okay then, it's nearly 10 minutes past nine. Uh, the greenhouses, or the greenhouse, the greenhouse, the single one, seems to still be producing. Oh, that's good. Uh, I've got two fields that are cut and are currently, hopefully, turning to hay. We're not showing rain on the forecast for a while, so that's all good. Um, I'm going to tackle something which is a bit of a... not contentious issue, but it seems to be causing problems, and I can totally see why. This is going to be a test of sorts. One, because I want to test it. Why am I doing it on my Let's Play rather than a separate test video? Because I'm, I'm in summer, my crops aren't ready to harvest yet, I do transport jobs, I do contracts to make up the money on the days where I've got nothing to do. Um, so I thought I'd pick up a contract. Now this contract has only just become available, so um, I've been kind of waiting for this to happen. And this is a baling contract that wants you to bale and wrap silage bales. Now that causes a problem. On the base game, as soon as you wrap grass, into silage bales it becomes a silage bale automatically on seasons even when you wrap a bale the same as if you cover or blanket a bunker silo um, that grass in there has to ferment to become a silage bale so therein lies your first problem if you wrap a grass bale on seasons on a contract technically then you've got to leave that to ferment to become a silage bale before you can take it to the sell point, the delivery point, um, because it won't take it as a grass bale that's wrapped, it needs to be a silage bale. The problem with that being, the time it takes for it to ferment, you then can't do another contract, because we don't have the multiple contract mod on console that you can get on PC. Um, so you're kind of then stuck. Now, it was posited that you can actually just take the wrap bales and the, the delivery points will take wrapped grass bales. It was then posited that that's not the case. So I'm going to be trying a few different options. Every step of the way I'm going to be saving it. So we may do a kind of rewind in so much as we'll try something. If it doesn't work, we can go back a step and then decide what we're going to do as an option. So it's a kind of, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll kind of give it a go. Um, I'm on field 34, I've borrowed equipment, so we've got a fence, we've got the rear disc bind, New Holland disc bind, we've got front mower, this is all borrowed equipment from the farm, um, we've got a wind rower, we've got the baler wrapper, the coon baler wrapper, uh, we've got two of these, I don't particularly like these for doing a lot of bales, we'll probably lease a bale trailer I think, might be a little bit easier, um, but the two tractors here are mine, obviously the, we've got the uh, class and we've got the Lamborghini. So what I'm going to do is cut the grass first, then we'll windrow it, then we'll bale it and wrap at the same time, which will give us our bales, but they won't be silage bales. That point is when we're going to have to decide what do we do next. Um, so, first thing to do then is uh, front mower, open it up. Start up and drop it down. Rear mower, start up drop it down. And with the rear mower I can, I think it's L1 and right stick, I can adjust the angle. I think I've got it so it will cover the front and the side. I hope. Let's see if we get the cut just right. That should be okay. Um, it has also been mentioned that People are cutting an entire field, they're baling the entire field, they're taking the bales and it's telling them that they don't have enough to fulfil the contract. So why is that saying it's only for contract work? That's all I'm doing. So that potentially could be an issue as well. We will keep an eye on all of those things. I don't often use the uh, they'll rear disc bind type uh, mowers. I think it might have been... I might have been low oak on FS17 the last time I used one of those. Right, so it's not letting me cut that far over. So you've gone outside the field boundary, it doesn't like that. 
we'll do as much as we can because obviously I want to try and make sure I've got more than I need but that may be a little bit trickier we are still cutting aren't we we are uh, yep didn't see the hedge coming <laughs> I was so busy watching the mower it's like oh look doesn't it look good um, I then drove into the hedge awesome job Like that end either. It's not cutting any of that. Okay. Well, this is going to take a little bit of time. So what I'm going to do now is continue this. swing out again see what I can do now now I've done the inside track I can do that and that swing out that way and hopefully maybe come back a little bit uh, that should be alright there we go so what I'll do then I'll go around and clear up any bits that didn't let me do the first time like I say to so just try and make sure I get the most I possibly can any bits I miss I'll just come and gather up and then we will uh, get onto wind rowing then we'll bail it and then we'll see what happens next um, potentially it's almost like you need to have a supply of silage on hand because there is a theory as well which I'm going to test and that's the thing that um, you can actually supply them with loose silage or other silage bales they don't care what silage bales they are if you've got your own store of them and then keep the ones in the contract it seems a little bit long-winded and I think the point being that the concept works perfectly well on the base game but it's a little bit of a trickier thing to deal with with seasons on so All good. Okay, less wind rope. I think I've pretty much got everything I could. A couple of bits I've missed, I went over and grabbed those. Just turn that on. Drop it down. And let's get the wind rowing sorted. Yeah, it's a weird one I suppose there's going to, always going to be those odd things that uh, I know on Sussex especially and uh, Washoe and a lot of Jim's maps where a lot of modders and map makers are doing more custom contract work and adding new things in and different things but I suppose yeah something like this with seasons where a wrapped bale needs to ferment now that does have a knock-on effect doesn't it for, for doing a contract like this I've, I'm sure I was I'm sure I read somewhere that it wasn't a problem and that once they're wrapped for the contract's sake it will take them but I'm not so sure now and that's the point
It's not massive equipment, it's going to take a little while, but then beggars can't be choosers, it's what I was given. I suppose I could still be using the attractor rather than putting wear and tear on mine, but... It's not horrendous. So what day I've gone today? It actually depends when this gets posted. Whether this gets posted Wednesday or Thursday. But um, Bombing Simulator League is back this weekend from Leipzig. I will be flying out Saturday morning and the stream will be the finals will be streamed live on Twitch and Mixer on Sunday for the English stream on YouTube for the German stream so looking forward to that first one back after the Christmas break see what changes there may have been and let's see Who's been practicing over the winter break? I mean, they've all been practicing, but let's see if someone else can come out on top and try and knock uh, Trelleborg off their top spot. That didn't like Windrown over there, did it? Oh, that's obviously where I went a little bit wide. Okay. So, as before, this will now continue. I'll see you when this is done, and then we'll get it bailed up. What I'll do, I'm going to take a shallower bend round there, and I'll sort that bit out in a minute. As you can see, the baling has already begun. We are baling grass. Now, I was lucky enough in that the grass was dry when I started baling it. Um, I don't know. Oh, yeah, because I haven't got anything still within the field boundary. Um, it was dry, so it's coming out as dry grass, not wet grass. I haven't actually tried baling wet grass yet. So, yeah, I'm not sure if that works. But if we look at the bales now... So it's a grass bale, it's not saying silage, it says 24 hours to go, so it's going to take 24 hours for that to ferment into a silage bale. So potentially as it stands, I can't deliver these to the contract for another 24 hours, which means for another 24 hours I can't do any other contracts at all. Which may not fuss you, you may decide, you know what, I'll speed up time, I'll go through, I'll find other things to do, I'll leave them sitting here and then I'll take them and fill for the contract. If you don't do many contracts, if you're the sort of person that does contracts, you're the sort of person, generally speaking, that will do a few. Um, it'd be very unusual to suddenly decide, oh, I'll do a silage bale contract and never touch any others again. So, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just curious, I need to get the rest of this done. Um, then what we'll do, I'm probably going to lease a bale trailer, we'll see how many we've got. Um, we'll take them, because these have to go to the cargo ship, I'm pretty sure all of the silage bale contracts are to the cargo ship. Um, so we'll take them down to the cargo ship, that, at that point is when I'm going to save it. Because what we'll try to do then is put them into the sell point as they are. I don't think it's going to take them. In which case, they can sit there at the dock or wherever and they can ferment for 24 hours. Um, but then we need to think of another alternative because we've got to sort our way of completing that contract. Otherwise, for 24 hours, we can't do a thing with it. So, something's going to have to be done. But we will see when we get to that point.
I thought we'd try something a little bit different. I've leased one of the log tra log trailers, bale trailers that's got a rear trailer hitch. So I've got the skid steer loader with the strap, the bag um, lifter with it. And just as a kind of, you know, again, just give it a go. Why not? Give it a try. Um, the only downside with this trailer bin is it's the smaller one, isn't it? The double, not the triple axle. Um, you have to open up the sides a little bit so I can get the skid steer loader on, but that's... I suppose I should really upgrade and get the bigger one, but... I don't use it that often because I've got the much bigger trailer, but for a setup like this, it actually works really well. So, what we'll do is grab that. Oh, I just suddenly thought they're not going to come on... The right way are they? Well, all we can do is try. Like so. So much easier than using the, the bale grabs and the, all sorts of stuff, isn't it? Now, the only downside is, I don't know how many bales I've got. Because it's a contract, when you do baling yourself, if you go into this menu here, and we go that way, it will say created bales, and how many you created this session. Because it's a contract, it doesn't tell you. Um, it just says zero on everything. So, yeah. I don't know how many we've got. I think this bale trailer can hold about 30, 34, 32, something like that. Like I said, my new favourite toy. It makes bale work and all sorts of jobs so much easier. Oh, I did the, the, the mod... No, not mod, the hack video yesterday. Um, and it was mentioned that the shovel mod that we've just had um, does exactly the same thing. So if you don't want to use a log, the shovel apparently... Um, now, I did say in the video that I thought people may already know about it. I'd never heard of it, and I thought if I hadn't, maybe other people hadn't. A few people commented to say, yeah, that's been a thing since FS17 or FS15. Um, and people came across it by accident by doing login and things like that, um, which is, you know, fantastic. And then there were loads, just as many people, if not more, that said, that's fantastic, didn't know anything about this. But yeah, apparently you can use the shovel. Um, there are items apparently in the CSZ pack as well that you can lift hang on a minute I'm sure someone said this is one of them no it can't be surely no way you can <laughs> that can't be right surely right so you've now got yourself it's always worth checking these things out, isn't it? Because you're never quite sure. Um, if I grab it down the bottom there, lower down, I can get more height on this. So for all intents and purposes, you've got yourself um, a bale grab, a pallet grab, and using the... the um, uh, what's the word for it? The log. You can't actually lift things, but with that, you can. How do you release... Do you still do it? Yeah, R1 and... Okay. How would you release the straps, though? Well, yeah, I don't know if you can release the straps. But anyway, you can, if you wanted to. I don't know why you would want to, but... That is craziness. Just suddenly remembered that as I was doing it. I thought, oh, I'm sure someone said the CSZ stuff. Anyway, <laughs> enough of that lunacy. I have work to do. Actually, I don't know if there's to put these the other way. Mind you, manipulating them all into a different position might be a little bit trickier. And we've got quite a lot to do. 
I will see you in a little while. I think it's probably the best thing. Right, last bail going on. I had a little bit of assistance, um, just with tidiness, because obviously I wanted to load them all, and I have loaded them all, but they're not the neatest. So there's that kind of way of doing it, but getting a bit of help. And there's nothing wrong with that. So what I did, and what I have done, is you get an auto load trailer. You can still use this, you can still manually load. But if it's looking a bit untidy, every now and again, just jump in and just hit the um, auto load function and it just tidies everything up a little bit. So every single bale has gone on there using that. And every now and again, when you look and think, because what you'll do is you'll put them on, as you saw with the first few I did, and the gaps were a little bit too wide. So by the time you get up this end, they're a little bit floating all over the place and sometimes you get them you know, twisting and that kind of thing. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that at all. You can leave it like that and just carry on loading. But if you then want to just tidy it up a little bit and ease of transport and that kind of thing, then just auto load it. Um, that way you're not going around the field just picking them all up using the auto load function. You are still manually bail loading, but then you're just getting someone to help you tidy things up along the, at the end, you know. <laughs> That's how it works. So if I jump in now, I think it's L1 and Square. No. Hang on a minute. Let's open up the help menu. Triangle. Right, then L1 Square. It just rejigs everything, resets, just make sure it's all nice and tidy. And then we can unload bales here onto the trailer, like so. And then we can strap, like so. All good. Now the problem I have got and it's the only downside, well not the only downside, I've always said the only downside, there are normally a few little downsides here and there, is using this is a great bit of kit and I love it for loading, unloading, nah not so much. The problem with unloading is because the straps will go down and around loads of stuff, if I put it over the top of one of these bales the straps will go around three of these, potentially six if you've got some the other side as well, and because it's taking two from underneath it's going to yank the bales all over the place, so that's not necessarily going to be the best thing. I'm going to take the loader down with us, um, but I just don't think it's going to be um, as useful <laughs> as it might otherwise be. And that's where we're going to do our save, and we're going to then double check and see what's going to happen with these bales. Okay. We're off. Down to the cargo ship. So I think what we're going to do is unload these to the side of the cell point and then maybe try and put one in and see what happens. Rather than doing the whole lot and finding it's an absolute disaster, I'll still save beforehand. And I say, because I've got... How many have I got on here? That's weird, they've unloaded onto it, but it's not saying... I'm on the wrong... I don't know, I'm on the right trailer. Oh, odd. Um, these, you can take two at a time. Can you imagine doing two at a time down to the cargo ship? I mean, if you put one on the front, one on the back, you can take four at a time. It would still take ages, it just makes more sense.
Okay, we're up at the cargo ship. In offloading them from the trailer, we had a couple of ones roll off at either end, so that might make life a little bit easier. I've grabbed one, which we're going to test, but like I say, we'll double check this because 23 hours to go, it's still saying grass. This should not take this now. The contract at the moment is sitting at 20% progress. It says mow the grass, bale the grass, wrap it to make silage bales. Now weirdly, I have mowed it, I have baled it, and I have wrapped them. And it doesn't seem to have registered that I've done any of those steps. Because realistically, all that's left to do now is put them into the cell point. It put it at 20% complete, which I assume was the mowing, but it doesn't seem to have... Well, this is all going to be part of the thing, isn't it? What, so this is what we're testing. So, we'll open this up. I don't think it's going to take it, but... If it does, we could be in trouble. I have sold... Uh, sold. I have saved, so... seem to want to take it but it's not even it's not coming up with a uh, with anything saying this bale is not type is not supported it's not saying I can't it's just not coming up I'm at the right trigger point I'm on the cargo ship that's the bit that's flashing there's no other location on this deck that I can see that's marked out I mean there's this bit here but that's more, I think, for decoration. That's not a, a bale drop-off point, I don't think. It's not marked out. Um, so, now comes the tricky bit. If that hasn't worked... I mean, to be fair, it didn't take it. I did have... Um, did have a comment left, or a few comments left, saying that they put bales in, the bales had disappeared... And it said the contract had failed. That didn't even take the bail. It didn't want to know. So, yeah. Let's try it again. No. Nothing. Now, I've got 24 bales there. 24 times 4,000 litres brings me in at 96,000 litres. My option now is, and this is where, you, again, it becomes a bit of a... The whole doing silage bales as a contract then becomes a bit of a pain. If it's not already, I mean, let's be honest, it's you know, having to cut and bale and or windrow, maybe even Ted, depending on whether you've got to dry it all out, um, then wrap, then deliver. It's, it's a bit of a pain anyway. But what I could potentially sell these for if they belong to me, offset against what 96,000 litres of silage would cost me to buy. Now, if you go to a buy anything silo, fair enough. You can buy silage here on Sussex Farms anyway, which I've done before. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the truck, grab my trailer, I'm going to grab 79,000 litres of silage. Now, generally speaking, it, w it won't require all of the 96,000 litres. When I've done silage barrel contracts before in other maps, it takes a lot of them, but not all of them. It generally leaves you some, which you can make a bit of extra profit on. I'm going to get a full load, and what we'll do is we'll bring it up and we'll try and tip it into there. See if it will take loose silage. That's the next step of the test. That's what we're going to have to try, try and do. Because if it will do that, then those bells then belong to me. If it comes up saying contract complete, because it's received the silage, if it doesn't do that, I don't know what I'm going to do, because I'm now stuck with silage bales, and I'll have silage, and I'll have no way of doing any other contracts. So, um, yeah, okay, moving on. I've extended the um, wheelbase of this as well. It was on short, this is on standard now. Um, I did it, uh, I don't know, I think I did it off screen at one of the configuration points at the uh, workshop. Because I've been on the deck so long mucking around, the ramps have gone back up, so just need to come back, readjust the ramps, and away we go. I do the testing so you don't have to. I know some people have done it already, but... 
Right, the next phase of Operation Silage Bale. <laughs> I could have done about five or six fertilising contracts in this time and made so much more money. Um, I've just got 79,000 litres of silage from the silage buy point on the map, which cost me 2,062. The contract is worth 9,300 and something, but I did borrow the farmer's equipment. So I'm going to be down to about 7,000 as a payout if it does contract complete. But... I have got then 24 silage bales, 96,000 litres, that I can do whatever I want with. Um, so, there's that is a bonus, <laughs> if you can call it that. Like I say, the time it's taken, it's this, uh, yeah, you do start to ask yourself, that's just a terrible angle. Right, well, oh, I've, I've saved it. So whatever happens now is, I've got 79,000 litres of silage, I've got 96,000 litres in silage bales, um, and... If this doesn't, if this doesn't work. <laughs> oh, I'm out of pocket by a fair bit. Anyway, not to worry. Um, let's open the cover. Please take this. Oh, okay. That's interesting that that's come up. So, <laughs> let's do this. If the money doesn't go up, that means it's taking it for the contract. And will it say contract complete? Right, money's not going up, that's good. At some point, fingers crossed, it will come up contract complete and I won't have to do all the bales. Please, 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 please. Yes, contract finished. Right, so it took a little bit more than I actually needed. So for 2062, let's have a look. Contract complete. Minus 368 takes me down to 8996. So take off just over two grand. Yeah. 6996, seven grand. So I've made seven grand on the contract, which we'll collect on now before it changes its mind. <laughs> Got another bailing one there, but that's not. Grass bales. Try it with a tether. I don't need to if the grass bales. It's not asking for hay bales. Anyway, I'm not going to get into that right now. So I've now got 24 bales which I can do whatever I want with now, they're mine. So I can store them away to one side and use them for total mix ration, which probably be, would, would be quite a sensible idea. Or if we are going to let the grass go again, mind you, 96,000 litres, that's not a bad little haul, is it? Hmm. So, yeah, you know what? Let's take the truck back. Um, I'll take the bales back. For the time being, I'm going to put them into storage. So it does show a couple of things then. They won't take silage bales unless they have turned to silage, which means that for at least 24 hours you can't do any other contracts. Um, but it does mean if you do want to complete it and get it out of the way, you can deliver silage. It will take that and then you keep the bales. So I think... Are we going to call that a result? I think that's a result. That's as good as we're going to get. <laughs> Um, cover back on, this will go back and I'll take the bales back up to the farm. I'll see you up there in a little while when we're uh, hopefully storing the bales away somewhere. There may be other variables to this test, I mean it's not a scientific one, this is just simply just will it work, can it work, does something else work in its stead type situation. So Happy days. Okay, that's it. We're back at the farm. The bales are unloaded. I've put them in this barn here. I did have one errant one that decided to roll off. A couple of this end, but I'm going to tidy that one up. Um, I could have just taken these to the BGA, um, to the biogas plant, and sold them and made the money at midnight from them, but I think I'd rather have the silage on hand. If at some point I decide that's what I want to do, I can absolutely do that. Take them to the biogas plant and just sell them. Um, and then I'll make the money on the 96,000 litres I've got here. So that kind of makes perfect sense, really. Um, I hope that's answered a few questions. I mean, it's kind of, it is a workaround. It's not ideal, um, but it is a way around doing it. I mean, what you can do if you're going to do that situation straight off the bat, buy the silage, unless you've got silage there already, um, do the contract, bring the silage bales directly back to your farm and store them, and then take the loose silage and, and complete the contract with it. I mean, I, mine was a bit kind of all over the place because I was trying to work out which way around to do that in. But um, 
There we go. Another kind of job done, but also a question answered. Um, harvesting still not ready yet, so what I'll probably do is see you in midsummer, and hopefully, I mean, our, our fields aren't far off it. Um, if we go over here, they're at the harvest point, but not quite ready to harvest, if you know what I mean. With seasons, they get to this point, then they need to go another step further before they're ready to actually harvest. But we're not far off. These two fields there, our field 11 over there, um, obviously our field 6 isn't quite there yet because that was planted this season. I've got a problem with my corn at the moment, though. I don't know what I'm going to be able to do with my corn. Um, in that, if I go into my planting window, um, because I just came out the back of winter, there were no fields on the map that had been planted with corn that were owned by other people, so I can't even buy a field and just go, right, okay, let's do it. Um, short of now, I suppose if I buy my own field and plant with corn, because I'm in the corn window now, so maybe that's what I need to do. I think possibly the next episode, then I need to buy a field, plant it with corn, to run through, and then harvest... Will be able to harvest by the end of the year if I plant it now? It's got to be worth a try, hasn't it? We'll, gi we'll give it a go, that's all we can do. Because I need, I'm going to need corn for the pigs. So, maybe that's going to be our next option. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.